Aloha, everybody, and welcome to part four of Mr. Mosquito. By defeating Kaneo in the kitchen, we got ourselves a nice yellow color. So how about that? Now we're moving on to stage number five. Rena's room. Rena is becoming extremely wary of you. She is armed with an insecticide spray. What's more, she also has a bug zapper. Be careful. Are you okay? The potato cakes are ruined. I'm sorry, dinner is. <laughs> I don't mind, just as long as you are safe. Kenichi. Hi! <laughs> You're boring the neighbors! Keep it down! Don't break that bug zapper! It's new, you know! Really? She's just like her mother. Oh. Kaneo? Alrighty, folks, so welcome to stage number six. We're basically back at Rena's room. It's pretty much the exact same location as it was in part one. Uh, the difference is now on her dresser drawer, or her big closet kind of compartment, uh, there is a gigantic bug zapper, and you do not want to run into the front of the bug zapper because it tends to shock you. I know, common sense, right? But right now we're behind the bug zapper. There's a heart rings back here and we're not getting damaged by it at all. So it's kind of a pointless thing, because like it doesn't attract the mosquito to it. It's not like you look at it, and then you start flying towards it, and you want to like get away or something, because that would have been a, a unique kind of gameplay element or something. Uh, no, you just it's pretty obvious that there's a bug zapper there, and don't run into it, and uh, you'll be fine. The early levels of Mr. Mosquito aren't, aren't super hard or anything, and... Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! It looks like Rena is training to be a street fighter. So let's change her uh, her music, why don't we? But as I was saying, just the bug zapper, it's one small part. There's no insecticide or mosquito coils anywhere, so... We got no real stage hazards to worry about, but uh... Alright, we changed the music. Where's that blood point? Where's that blood point? It hasn't shown up. If you try to use the lights or the radio again, this time the blood point won't show up at all. It's just something you can interact with, but you're not really supposed to. Instead, now we have a cell phone, and the cell phone... I don't know how this works in Mr. Mosquito logic, but... You hit the phone, and it rings. And when Rena picks up the phone, there is someone on the other end who is talking to her until... and it's, it's a short-ass conversation as soon as the phone picks up, by the way. Like, you have a limited time to get to Rena's neck or her hand, um, and like, she'll just be like, hello? And like, not even like 20 seconds, like maybe 10, 15 seconds, she's like, okay, bye-bye, click, hangs up the phone. And then she goes back to working out to her Rocky music. <laughs> Seriously, the music she's she's training to sounds exactly, not exactly, but like pretty close to gonna fly now from Rocky. So that's kind of funny. Um, but when you start sucking, just like in the bathtub scene, chaos control activates. You know, so it's like all of a sudden now she's having this gigantic conversation with someone. But again, the question is, we hit the phone. And we made it ring somehow by hitting the phone. So who is the other person on the other line that she's talking to? And how did we get her or him to call her? 
Does this game not understand how phones work? I mean, she's just training, she's just doing her thing, and you know what? Let's go and, and touch the phone! Click! Oh, it's ringing! I guess that means someone's calling her, because us hitting it would not make someone else call her! <laughs> it's backwards ass logic, but again, the cell phone is the only thing you can use in order to initiate the blood points. One on her neck, one on her finger. And uh, you have to be quick about it, because she hangs up the phone pretty quickly when you're not sucking her off. So, that, that's pretty much it. This level's not drastically hard or anything. We're still not getting into the hard stuff until the next level. But, uh, it's Rena's room again. The heart rings are back. The candy is on the table, and uh, just look out for all that food, and look out for those heart rings, and uh, yeah, pretty basic, pretty basic stuff. Speak to you soon. Also, the, the narrator talked about this earlier, but I guess I'll bring it up now. Uh, the more blood you suck, uh, I already mentioned how I like the cosmetic look of Mr. Mosquito getting all fat and like a balloon and stuff, but that actually does make him slower in air combat, so it will be a little bit harder to get away from the humans to navigate uh, past them when you have to hit like a, a pressure point on the back of them, you know? So just be warned that when you suck up a lot of blood, Mr. Mosquito's gonna be heavier and a little bit slower, but it's not like so noticeable that it's like, oh man, why did I bother? Treat your possessions with respect. Yeah, Rena. Just because you have an itch doesn't mean you have to slam the table. God. Stupid or something? <laughs> Anywho, blue color scheme for defeating her. And uh, now the game's about to get a little bit tougher as we move into stage 7. This is the Japanese room where Kenichi likes to amuse himself with flower arranging. He suspects that the bites you gave him were due to a tick, and so he has covered the Japanese floor mats with insecticide. You will therefore be hurt if you land on the mats. Needless to say, you cannot suck blood from Kenichi's feet. And one more point of caution. Stay away from the airflow from the air conditioner. What are you doing? I was just practicing. It's so itchy. I've got another bite. Stop all hobbies that cause injuries. Huh? Flower arranging is the spirit of Japan. What do you think, Rena? Would you like to try it? No way. Kenichi, I covered the tatami mats in the Japanese room with tick insecticide. Oh. There's no way that I'm going to be beaten. That makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if it's a tick, though. Now that mosquito definitely won't bite me! <laughs> Our first world problems are solved! <laughs> oh, I wish I could be that happy about things like that. It's amazing. So we're in the Japanese room. Now this is supposed to be a Japanese family. I mean, you can tell from their name, you can tell from all the other details about the game. Do they call these rooms Japanese rooms? I mean, I don't have a Canadian room in my house. <laughs> I'm sure American people don't have American rooms, or British people have British rooms. I, I, I don't know. What is this thing supposed to be? Is it just a place? I don't, I, I don't know anything about Japanese culture. I'm an idiot, so... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so this level is a little bit trickier than most. Uh, first off, you can't touch the walls. Well, I think you can touch the walls. You can't touch the floor. Uh, the floor has this 
just stinging pain that will hurt the mosquito. And if you're actually in a battle with Kenichi and he slaps you into the ground, that actually does like two... Maybe this way. That actually does like a lot of damage, you know? Uh, so you gotta be a little bit careful about that because... I mean, mm. there is no walking animation for the mosquito, mm. so it's not like you've ever had to touch the floor before. Mm. Generally, it, it, it always bump off it when you're flying too close to it, so you never really Maybe wanted to be way. near the floor, but it's just this time, it definitely will shave your health bar off, so absolutely stay away mm. from the floor. Now we have to suck blood from Kenichi. The problem is, he has surrounded himself in mosquito coils. And like I mentioned before, in the kitchen level, mosquito coils have a way, because they're flowing upwards, and if you hit, like, the bottom of the, the coil smoke, it can make you rise higher and higher and higher and shave off your health like it's nobody's business. Like, it's a good thing I have six hearts, because one mosquito coil can potentially do two hearts worth of damage if you fly into it in the wrong way. And the other thing that's happening with this stage is that the air conditioner is constantly turning on and off. That's why the mosquito coil smoke is flowing the other way right now instead of directly upwards. Uh, and the air conditioner does kind of screw up Mr. Mosquito's movement as well because there's this large current that's constantly pushing you. So if you're flying towards the air conditioner, it's going to be a lot harder, it's going to be a lot slower, and uh, it doesn't hurt you any or anything, but it does blow you into places you don't want to go. It can blow you into mosquito coil smoke. It can blow you into Kenichi's eyesight, and then he'll want to fight you. And, you know, unless you already have the color, we don't want to fight this guy. So, again, the air conditioner's pushing you. The mosquito coils are all surrounding him. And we still have two points to get blood from. Uh, the first one is on his lips. And that... That blood point always shows up every time he burns his hand multiple times, setting that flower down on... Uh, I don't know what, he set, what he's setting it down on. I'm not sure what that thing is. I, I'm uncultured. I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> but he, he constantly burns his hand. He goes, ah! And then he, 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 he rubs it a little bit, and then his blood point on his mouth will be exposed. And then you can grab onto his lip, and you need three containers from that lip. Again, you gotta be, and this is, the best place to approach the lip is from the front. Maybe because the mosquito coils are all surrounding him. And he doesn't really turn around, he's always facing this direction. So I found, like, being right here is the best place. Just because you're in front of him, if you're far away enough, he won't know you're there. That's why his life sign's in the green. He can't see me because I'm just far away enough that... It's not an issue. So some people may be worried that, like, if they get in front of him, oh, he's gonna see me. How 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 can I get onto his lip if he sees me? Eh, you can get to the wall and you'll be perfectly fine. His other blood point shows up differently than the mouth does. Um, you have to wait until he burns his hand again, and then there's always like a, an, a cycle about it. Like first he'll he'll burn his hand and be like ah he'll rub, he'll be fine, and then he'll go and burn his hand again. At which point, he will say, Oh boy, it's hot. And when he says it's hot, that's when his left hand will flip upwards, and that's when the second blood point will show up. Like, sometimes you really gotta wait and pay attention for when that that second blood point is gonna show up, you know? Because, like, you, you'll see the mouth no problem, and you'll be like, where's the second one? I don't have any interactive objects. What do I do to make it appear? You just gotta kinda wait. Sometimes when he burns his hand... But see? Right there? The life sign went from, like, ca perfectly calm to, like, instant red. And I got off of him right away because that would have killed me if I stayed on there just a second longer. So sometimes you really gotta pay attention to the life sign because he could have just, boom, done. Instant kill. Not like that slap. That slap's totally fine. I'm airborne, so I guess I'm fine. <laughs> but, uh, you know, j just watch out. The other thing that will help you with speed and um, in order to, so you don't waste too much time trying to get the color, uh, when the people slap you or if you hit a mosquito coil or something, if you push the circle button enough, uh, you can actually stabilize the mosquito so he's not acting all flinched and, and, and knocked around and stuff. You can get him to regain his position and basically go where you need to go. So uh, that's always a thing to do as well. But this level was tricky the first time I played it, because again, you, you, you're looking for the blood points. I didn't know he was going to flip his hand like that. 
Uh, the mosquito coils, they're easy to run into. And, like, even when you fight Kenichi, the, the, the smoke from the mosquito, mosquito coil can be blown in your direction. You could accidentally run into it just trying to get behind him and attack him from the back and stuff. So, uh, you know, this one gave me trouble. I also had three hearts when I first played this, so that didn't help. But we got our last container on the hand. We just have to go at the mouth one more time. Maybe this way. Maybe this way. It's not gonna work, dude! Oh. <laughs> How many times are you gonna burn your hand? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! What is wrong with Japan? Why is everyone crazy? Ah. Look out! That's gotta hurt. <laughs> We're gonna keep terrorizing the family in part five.